God is extremely faithful in providing everything for us. Some feel it, some may not. For those who feel have no longer worry about surviving, you just have to work hard consistently. Remember why I am doing this and trust that no matter what happens, I will be in good hands. We are so grateful to be alive in this era because there isn't a traditional career path that really suited for all. Prepare your mind to go with the flow as it comes. Social media is a powerful tool comparable to money. The more influence and money you gain, the harder it is to stay true to your values. Remain humble and keep your eyes what really matters. That is why my number one advice for becoming influencer is to first determine your message. If the focus is on yourself, you won't feel fulfilled. No matter how success you become, we will buy you to be a service to others, not just to ourselves. Before you start, really ask yourself what I am trying to provide and if you can't answer that, hold off. There is no need to rush into this industry with a lot of responsibilities and pressure and calls for great mental and emotional endurance. There are definitely formulas that work such as controversy, shock and sexuality but you don't have to be like everyone else. You can't effect positive change if you are just going to keep popular culture. I was hesitant to go to YouTube because I knew that it is saturated with toxic drama, shock value and shallowness. But the more I thought about it, the more I felt compelled to redeem this platform. Rather than contributing to chaos, I wanted to create a devotional channel that feels like a refreshing oasis for people who are hurting and overwhelmed. I speak calmer, softer and more intentionally in these videos because I know that many of you tend to watch them after a long day of work or before you fall asleep. I try to keep my visuals as pleasant and untiring as possible to create a peaceful and healing space for you. Of course, perfection is impossible always. There will be little things that trigger some people. But my intention is clear. I am here not to inflict more damage on already traumatized generation, but to bring healing through the word of God. We must always have control over our feeling. Every individual has the power to affect change. What will you do with that measure of influence? If you have a message that inspires you, then work hard and communicate it. 
in the most creative and powerful way that you can let the world hear you bye for now see you all next week with another video thank you